I don't know if I'm going to say that now is the time to jump onto the 4D hype, but this pair right here, super special. What's good guys, Ash Bash back again with another sneaker review and this is for the Parley Times Adidas Alpha Edge 4D. So yes, 4D sneakers. Who would have thought this would actually be a thing? And finally the price is kinda coming down to where it's reasonable to pick it up. But ultimately, are you gonna spend the big bucks on a pair of 4D shoes when Boost is still out there and Nike is still out there with React and the whole Air? I don't know, but I got a pair so I can tell you what they're like and tell you if it's worth your money. Let's get into it. So first off, the box is pretty cool. Comes in a black box, it says Adidas 4D printed inside there. And it's a pullout box, which is, when it comes to pullout boxes, probably one of the better ones I've seen. It pulls out like this, flaps open and you can get out your shoe. But let me tell you what's on the box first of all. So yes, the shoe model is the Alpha Edge 4D. And I got these in a UK 10.5. Did a bit of research and asking people that I know that I've got the 4D so far what to go for. In Ultra Boost, uh, yeah, I go for up half a size as well. So I stuck to that and seems to be fine, but show you the shoe because it's a madness. And boom, here is a sneaker in all of its minty fresh glory. And yeah, it's crazy, it's crazy. You might recognize the color from the Daniel Arsham uh, collab that came out before. I really wanted that shoe, the whole package and stuff, absolutely sick, but it was hard to get. The Daniel Craft, Daniel Arsham 4D Futurecraft super fire shoe. I think retail was already high, whereas the resale is even crazier. So no chance of me getting that. Once I saw that this shoe was getting released and I saw it pretty late to when it was actually coming out, one of my guys uh, actually did a little review for it my little group chat thing and I was like when did this come out he got it on an early drop and he told me that it was coming out literally like the next day or two days later so I was definitely in for it I was doing my research on what size to get and whatnot and super happy that I, I managed to get it they seem to be sitting I was asked like loads of people to try and cop for me everybody seemed to cop so I had to tell them to delete it and I got my own pair and one thing to note if you're gonna try on Adidas for some reason the discount code seemed to work. So I actually got these for like 30% off, which makes it even more of a sweet deal uh, if you want to get a pair of these. So it brings the price down from like 250 to 170, something like that. So definitely get on that if you want a pair of these. And even if you want to get the other colorways, well worth your time. But yeah, with the whole Parlay thing, if you've never heard of Parlay before, they've done quite a few collaborations with Adidas already. I believe they did some clothing but I know that they've done a bunch of ultra boosts and basically they deal with like remanufacturing plastics and stuff that they find from the ocean and beaches and re-transforming up whatever they do with it and putting it back into the shoes. So the whole upper itself is made from that material that they've got from the oceans. I believe Prime Knit's in here as well, but very cool concept and helping the, helping the world. So salute to them. But anywho, let's get to the details of this fire shoe. So I'm not gonna to pretend to know a hell of a lot about the whole Alpha Edge sneaker in the first place because it's not a shoe that I've caught before, but I've watched reviews from other guys. And I believe this is either the second or third uh, iteration of this sneaker, probably the third. And it's super fire, I must say. Uh, the upper, I've been told, cause I've not actually tried on the other pairs, but it's a little bit, doesn't feel the same as it does on the other pairs, which are just standard prime knit. Kind of makes sense because it's got that whole parlay thing with the plastics and stuff reinforced into it so i get that but still i find it pretty comfortable on feet but i'll note off before i even get into any more details i found this shoe super hard to get on and it's not the first adidas shoe i've had that problem with with the alexander wang b balls actually had to go and buy like a shoehorn to get them on and even then it's a pain like i've got wide feet i must have hella wide feet because this opening hair is super tiny for me. I nearly broke my finger, putting it back to get my foot in there. But once it was on, pretty snug. Uh, it's not snug on a toe or anything like that, just snug holding your foot down. Maybe this part of the shoe hair, like where the tongue would normally be, I could have done with there being a little bit more space, but I don't think it's gonna be a massive problem over time. But besides that, I'll tell you some details about this shoe. 
So as you can see, it's got this whole minty green, I think it's called Aero Green, with the colorway on it. Hopefully it's coming out on the camera, but as I said, if it's not, you'll see in the close-ups anyways. But it's got this little patterns that you see on the side of the reinforcements. That comes from the Alpha Bounce uh, running sneakers, which is nice to have on there. But otherwise, it's a big whole prime knit, one sock upper sort of shoe that you find with a lot of Adidas. Same with the Yeezys, the Ultra Boost. Just obviously a different design, but super duper fire. It's got this little TPU cage here where it says Adidas. Got it on the other side as well. But the main thing, the main thing about this shoe, what makes it amazing, is this 4D, free, 4D printed um, midsole here. It's absolutely insane. Like the pattern to it is just crazy. Like, can only imagine how much research had to go into the shoe to get it to work and that it will like last long and all that. My only apprehension, even before picking up a pair of these, was what if like stones and dirt get stuck in here? Is it easy to clean? I don't know. I guess I'll find out over time, but it's crazy. Like the pattern is just, you can't stop looking at it. It's just totally mad. But um, comfort wise, compared to Boost, uh, hard to say because I've not done a lot of walking in it. Just trying it on feels pretty comfortable to me. Can't really compare it to Boost as of yet. But so far, so good. Doesn't feel stiff or anything like that. Um, on the laces, it's all it's all one tone, so there's nothing crazy going on with it. It's like a monochrome shoe, but it works so well because it's mint green, it's aero green, whatever you want to call it. Super duper fire. But yeah, it comes with these flat um, aero green laces. It's got the three stripes here on the tongue. Back of the shoe, it's got the little parlay branding. And inside the shoe, it says 4D in that same sort of font. Sole of the shoe is white. Interesting choice. I'm not sure what else I would have preferred. I don't like the white because it can get dirty. But as I said, I don't know what, they, what I would have preferred. The black would make the shoe a little bit more harsh with the color blocking. They could have kept it green. That would have probably been better, but it's got a white continental outsole. Continental outsoles last pretty long, so can't be mad at that. It's got more of the Adidas equipment uh, logo there at the front of the shoe. And that's pretty much it. It's a crazy shoe. Retail price, as I said, £250. It's a lot, but check on Adidas, see if that code still works, because it worked for me. And I was super gassed when I found that out. As I copped it online, I was like, happy to get it done. And then I speak to my guys in the group chat and they're like, you know the code still works, right? And I was like, no. So I ordered another pair, canceled the first pair, and I got this for like 170-ish. So can't be mad, cheaper than the Yeezy. And technically, I guess, more up-to-date technology than a, like a 350. So the price kind of makes sense for what it is, but really all these shoes are mad prices. It's getting absolutely silly, like 250 being a retail, but it is what it is. Anywho, gonna chuck these on feet, show you what they're like, let go. And we're back, that was a quick look at the Alpha Edge 4D times parlay on feet. Tell me what you think, is it fire? Is it not fire? I think it's pretty fire. I told you about how it fits already. Um, they do have the other two colorways that I've seen. Uh, they were in the store, what store was it? It was JD Sports, if you're from London, I saw it in JD Sports. I don't think they're selling out everywhere. So if you wanna try it on and find out your size before you buy it, definitely check out JD and see how it fits. Um, half a size up is what I've been recommended. It's what I tried and it seems to fit fine. My toe has enough space at the front, so it's not tight on the toe at all. And yeah, so check that out if you wanna get a pair. I can't recommend it enough. They're super duper fire. The colorway is absolutely mad. It makes me want those 40s even more, but I'm not paying the price. I'm sure it was like over a grand or something silly like that. I'm not doing it, even if the package is absolutely bonkers, but it's a no from me. But anywho, hopefully you enjoyed the video. More videos to come. I've been super lazy and not done all these reviews that I've had. 
I've got boxes upon boxes sitting here. I'm trying to bang them all out right now. So yeah, uh, definitely subscribe, hit the bell icon because more reviews are coming your way. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Ash Bash Sneakers. Dope pictures pretty much every day. And my Twitter's Perfection7. I'm out. Later, y'all.